YouTube, it's Chris, welcome back. This video is purely an MSI Afterburner slash River Tuner tutorial on how to set it up correctly. Not overclocking, just setting up an overlay, measuring your frames, averages, 1%, 0.1s, um, and capping your frames with River Tuner to improve your 1%s and 0.1s. This video is gonna really help a lot of you that don't really want the headache of setting up an overlay properly for River Tuner. You can, and MS Afterburner, you can just copy paste my copy straight in. Links should be in the description. Go ahead and download MSI Afterburner. In the link below, there should be a Google Drive to my Freethy Drive. Go to the Freethy Drive, go to other folder, and then go to MSI Afterburner config. Go ahead and install MSI Afterburner and opt in to install River Tuner. Unfortunately, it seems on the newest version, when you open up MSI Afterburner, it does not open River Tuner with it. Now my config will take care of that and fix this. This is the file that I got you to download from my Google Drive. Just go ahead and extract this. We've got one MSI Afterburner and profiles. That's MSI Afterburner config. And then two, River Tuner profiles, and then the config files for River Tuner. Open another window, go to C drive, go to 86 program files, and then MSI Afterburner, okay? And if there isn't a profile config, open up MS Afterburner and close it. And then that should make a profile config. Okay. And we need our one copy and paste it into here. All right. Then we go back, go to river tuner, go to profiles. And once again, if there isn't a profiles folder or a config folder here, open up river tuner, then close it. All right. And make sure both apps are closed while you're dragging these files across. Now we're going to copy and paste in here. Now I've got this set to minimize on startup. All right. And it should be good to go. So now when we open up MS Afterburner, it actually opens a river tuner with it. First things first, and this is not video related. Okay. Um, undo the lock icon. Okay. Dull in any graphics card overclock that you have set beforehand. Right. So if you haven't done a graphics overclock, Card overclock, leave this step. I'll make sure that this button is checked. This button will apply these overclocking settings on startup. It's completely separate from everything else we're doing right here, but we're just getting the overclock part done. All right, and that's not covered in this video. And please don't put the values that I've put here on your card, because more than likely it's not going to work and you'll have crashing issues. So I'll show you how I've set this up. Set up really nice little overlay here. Now, a lot of you guys have, might more, have more threads or more cores. And if that is the case, if you want to see this overlay, it's pretty simple. You can just toggle it on and off in here. I've set up a shortcut too, right? But if you've got it up and running, use anything. I'm just using Fermark, but any game in windowed mode, you'll see this overlay. That's what we want to see. It's set up for you. But if you've got some more cores and threads and this is all messed up here, um, and they're like down here or to the side or something like that, simply go to settings, monitoring, and you can actually shift and then hold, shift, hold, and then click. So click, shift, hold, click, because it'll save a bit of time. So shift here, and then drag up. You basically just want to line them up. So 13 clock needs to be right here underneath 12. If you guys do that, play around with it. If you get them in the right order, it will fix this. Now let's go through the River Tuner settings, all right? Um, the way I've set this up is show on screen display to always be on. You can toggle it on and off here, or I've set up a shortcut and you can change it to whatever you like to Alt F1, right? So in game, you can just press Alt F1, it'll disappear and Alt F1, it'll show up. It saves a bit of time. Yeah. Now, um, what else have I set here? I've got application detection level on high. You don't have to use lows the default. Stealth mode, we don't need. Frame rate limit is where we set the minimal frame rate that we get in game to fix our 1% low issue. Okay. So you would set that here. A lot of this is preference. Now I'll go to set up here and I need to show you guys something. If I scroll down here, I have this checked on. So OBS game capture picks up River Tuner because if I don't have this set, Game Capture does not pick up River Tuner, so I thought I'd just let you know. Most of the stuff should be set up here. You'd obviously want this on. So it's actually capping. See, now it's capping. But I have set up a shortcut so you can toggle on and off the cap depending on the game that you're playing. 
Because there are some games, for example, for me, when I play Aim Labs in Kovacs, I don't need to cap with Rubichina to fix my 1% lows at all. They're, they're fine. So click on this. You know, if I press Alt F2, it'll uncap it. So we're getting about 360. I think I've got VSync limit on right now. So it doesn't matter. And Alt F2 will cap it. So that's pretty straightforward. Everything else in here is pretty set up. You can change, um, you know, the uh, skin scaling if you want to, if you want it a little bigger or smaller. But there's really not much else to talk about in here. Now let's go over to MSI Afterburner. Okay. Now we've done our overclock already. The settings page here. You can grab whatever skin you want. I prefer the new modern one. Um, not much to do here. I'm not ever going to be using video capture or screen capture. I'd rather use OBS or, you know, um, your graphics card driver to do that. So there's not much to really talk about here. Um, in the benchmark tab, I have set Alt F7 to benchmark and Alt F8 to end the benchmark. Technically speaking, when you end the benchmark, you have to press Alt F8 twice. You guys can change it to whatever key you like. Um, and just keep in mind if your PC name is an administrator, so you're not using any of my uh, Windows optimization videos where you're not the administrator account, you might want to change this, maybe just to your desktop. When you benchmark with RivyTuner, it will save all those results to the text file document so you can check um, your before and after with your results that you actually get with your benchmark. I've pretty much set it up perfectly to get it set up where the 1% lows and 0.1s you can measure. F7 will start, you know, benching and then um, Alt, Alt F8 twice to stop benchmarking it. What you want to do is without the frame rate limiter on, obviously, you want to benchmark, you want to go, go ahead and play, um, do a bit of benchmarking in real world scenario, find out the minimum FPS that you're getting. Um, and then go ahead and cap to that. You can add some of the monitoring stuff, but the way I've set it up is pretty straightforward. Um, you can add a custom name for some of this stuff. So I, I've had a custom name for CPU mem here, as you can see, and then GPU mem here. Now, sometimes if you want a bit of a space, you've got to put a, you know, like a slash N. So we've got a bit of a space there, because if I didn't have the slash N, there wouldn't be a space there, as you can see. So that just makes it a little cleaner, right? You've got these CPU memory, so it's just like your actual like PC memory, like how much is in use, graphics card memory, how much is in use, all your cores and what they're boosting to, core usage and core temperature. You've got your CPU power draw, CPU overall usage, the graphics card power draw, and graphics card overall usage. You've got GPU clock, GPU memory clock, and GPU temperature, and then also the FPS. Alt F7, we can measure our 1% and 0.1s then Alt F8 twice, and that will stop that. Just remember, when you measure 1% and 0.1s, it'll do a little benchmark. Make sure it's in the action in the game that you're playing, not loading into the map, not loading the menu, or not after you die and you're reloading in. You wanna actually be doing bursts of measurements while actual real gameplay. Now in here, I like to have unlock voltage control so I can overvolt my graphics card, but that's got nothing to do with sort of what this tutorial is about. Now for you guys, you'd probably want to set this to start with Windows and start minimized and have your FPS cat set and then forget about it, right? And then obviously with some certain games, you'd obviously want to change this value depending on what the minimum frame rate that you can maintain. So the frame back buffer works properly and you can get the higher one set to frame one set. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Subscribe, like and share around. I have an optimization service over on Twitter if you're interested.